Welcome back to another episode of my Ultimate Iron Man. If you missed last time, I had a little rebound from my 99 Thieving Grind, and I decided to do some combat tasks, which if we go over here and see, I did a little bit of progress. I, it's going to look strange because I don't have anything done fully. I'm close on easy, close-ish on medium, like halfway through hard. Uh, but that's because pull 79 just uh, the was pulled and then we get the results by now. And I think everything passed. But the main thing that did is that the, uh, the combat task system is going to be reworked to be a points-based system rather than a tier-based system. Which essentially means you're not going to need to do have every single easy combat task done to get the rewards you would have gotten for having easy. Now it's going to be if an easy task gives one point and a medium gives two, you're only going to need like, you know, 100 points. This is just completely spitballing numbers here. Um, but you're only going to need like 100 points to get to the easy tier and then it'd be like 200 for medium. So essentially any like harder tasks you've done can contribute to getting those the early rewards rather than having to do all their easies, all the mediums, which I think is like... It's, I, I, would, I wouldn't mind if there was like, you know, some kind of special rewards just for like the actual having all of them done, just so you can still have that, you know, that prestige. But I do think for the game, you know, or at least for the, how, how much they've expanded and especially on the rewards for combat tasks, like I think it's good that you don't have to do literally like every single piece of content, or at least a big one for, for me, is not having to go to the wilderness to do like a bunch of, uh, there's like all my easy ones left are for wilderness, and then there's a bunch of medium ones and more that have to go into the wilderness, and I'm just, you know, not going to do that. So when that update hits, we'll, uh, we'll be good for that. Um, but for this time, I'm going to get right back into the action pretty much. My plan for the immediate future is to push on to 95 Slayer so we can kind of start you know, getting ready for end-ish game Slayer. Because 95 is when you unlock Hydras, which is the last Slayer unlock you can get. And, you know, the, the big thing with that is Alchemical Hydra, uh, which is, you know, again, I'm not going to, like, farm for that as soon as I get 95, but it is, you know, that's what you get 95 Slayer for, is to do, the, is to do Hydra, which I have done a little bit of during the last league. Looking forward to that. I think I have the stats and the gear to do it pretty well, and it wasn't that hard to learn and get in a groove. But, uh, you know, it'll still be an experience when I'm here. But, yeah, for right now, we're just going to be doing some Slayer. I just got distracted because I was doing agility before, and then uh, I was, like, 220k XP away, and now I'm, like, 3k XP away. I guess it's more of, like, a sunk cost fallacy because I haven't done any Slayer yet this week. I've just been doing agility whenever I've been playing. But, hey, we're up to 1,500 laps done on the Prif course. And uh, if also, if you're wondering why I'm doing Prith and not uh, Relica or like Sepulchre, it's just because it's e AFK-ish and I also would like to get my Crystal Shard stack up uh, because we're going to be doing some Herb Lore again in the not too far future. There's a whole bunch of things of, you know, the the pipeline of what's what's coming and whatnot. And there's so many arrows going all different directions. It's very confusing, but uh, I really just want those for Divine, Div Divine, Divine Ranging Pots. Um, I would say maybe Divine Super Combats, because we're going to be close to 90-ish, but I think you maybe even need like 94 or 95 for Divine Super Combat Pots. So for now, I'd just be happy with Divine Rangings. There's a lot of times where I only ever use like one dose of range at a time, so I think it'll be beneficial for me to to have that as Divines, because I'll be able to, you know, you know, eat enough of that. But I'll, I'll explain all that whenever I actually end up doing that. And we got a nice round number coming here with his agility level. That's going to be 90. Oh, we can actually do the uh, arty course, which is pretty cool. That is going to be our go-to now for Marks of Grace. And I also think it's probably just best agility rates outside of Sepulchre. And we need, I think it's either 91 or 92 for the final floor of Sepulchre. Once I get that, I do plan on going back to Sepulchre because uh, I, I just really enjoy that content. But I, I think I said the last time I was there, I just didn't want to go back until I could be able to do level five and open the uh, grand coffer just because it wouldn't wouldn't be worth it to me the agility xp is nice but it's not that much nicer than you know just doing rooftop courses for how click intensive sepulcher is it was in the middle of a caliphate task so we did get you know, a real feel for what we're gonna have but let's see what our first real task is gonna be 114 dark beasts i didn't even know you could get that many good lord that's insane is that just like a thing for dirt i thought you got like 10 of those well, that's fine that's a pretty easy afk task and they've got superiors 
Oh my god, y'all talk about you versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. I've just been chilling here and this dude, Maxed Infernal Cape, comes up with Scythe. Oh, he hopped away. I, he was too intimidated by me. Freaking Scythe. He brought out D-Claws for the spec. I have I was shaking in my boots, to be honest. I'm glad he left. Hey, and we got our Dark Bow, which I guess is our first one for this account. I, I've i gotten them before. I, I, I knew it was on Leagues once. I swear we had gotten one on this account before, but I... uh. I guess not. Either way, it's just going to be an Alk, and it doesn't even look like it's that expensive. Oh, it's almost... Is it really almost a mil? I'm kind of surprised. 72k Alk, though, that's pretty good. Um, I need to change my loot beam colors, because it looked the same as I have my like, low loot beams on, because this is AFK, so I want to make sure I get like Alkables showing up for me. Um, but I thought... I thought I'd heard Dark Bows were kind of expensive. That's almost a mil drop if you get it. That's pretty nice. I wonder if... It, did it get better with... I guess there's been some new best in slot range to come out, but I, did, I wouldn't think that would make it better for PvP. Is there any like bosses you can use it? For, as far as I'm aware, at least based on leagues, the only place it was even kind of usable was like um, Sarah, and even then, like there's a lot of better. I think like Bofo Full Crystal is probably better than Dark Bow, but I don't know. Still a cool thing off the collection log. I almost forget that I still have combat skills to train sometimes, but uh, our defense level is the last one left before 99 if you don't count if you don't count magic which magic and i guess prayer too will also count but of the core combats uh 95 defense and then oh that's a that's a new rune light message but also our combat level in, uh, overall is now 123 which i could be wrong but i think is kind of like the maxed in quotes combat because i think this is the highest you can get without having your prayer level be significantly higher because what we'll need yeah, magic won't matter, so we'll need four more? Oh no, I guess actually our, our prayer is high enough that once we get to 99 defense, we'll be at 124. So I guess it isn't quite as much as a meme. Or maybe just my prayer is higher than most people. I feel like a lot of people probably just get to 70 and then, you know, I got piety, that's it. I've said it before, but uh, I just saw on Reddit again today someone posting about wanting a Slayer-only area for Vyres. Uh, literally, if you teleport with the Dragon's Medallion, you come right here, and then you just run down here, and there's two that no one is ever at. And like, yeah, you have to teleport back to your house to restore prayer, but if you've got the POH pool, then it's arguably even more chill than going up there because you don't have to compete with other people for spots. So uh, if you want to do that... It's a pretty fun task. It's very AFK, and then Vyres are actually pretty good money. You get lots of, you know, rune daggers, addy plate bodies, plate legs, and then if you pick them up, you get a decent amount of uh, blood runes and nature runes, too. Oh, is that, is that something on the ground over there? You guys see that? Is that something on the ground there? Is that, is that a, a rune full helm? Oh my gosh, I just can't believe that's a rune full helm. What a freaking rare drop from these guys. No, but of course, actually, I'm talking about the blood shard here. Um, I guess I figured it would happen at some point, you know. It is a pretty rare drop. I'll go ahead and put it on the screen right now for what the actual rate is. I think it's at least one in, like, what, 1,200, I think, I want to say. Something like that. Maybe it's more if you're on a Slayer task, because I don't think it has that. Um, how much is it worth right now? Because that was still only like the couple mil. 5.6 mil on the GE. 120k Alk. Um, I do have a Fury. I have a couple places where I know a Blood Fury could be used. I do unfortunately now have though the Fury Ornament Kit. And I'm pretty sure there is no such thing as a Blood Amulet of Fury Ornament Kit. Because the Fury and a Blood Fury are different items. I'm pretty sure it's not like just a different version of the same one. I'll test it out once I'm done with this Slayer task because I've got you know, 36 more to go. But uh, I will probably be keeping this. I think a true UIM would probably drop the, uh, the Fury Ornament Kit at this point. But I think I'm just gonna bite the bullet and uh, keep this. But I, I need to do some research. Like if, if I'm pretty sure if you put it on a, a fury and then it runs out of charges, it turns back into a normal fury. It doesn't like destroy it like it does with a tent whip. But I want to make sure that's that's the case before I, you know, put it on my fury and then end up you know losing that unless I commit to just constantly getting more blood shards. Oh, moving on to black dragons. Which if you missed last episode, I was doing combat tasks and I killed my very first brutal black dragon and got incredible loot. So I don't have any anti-fires right now, which might be a problem if I'm planning on using the Bofa, but uh, we will try it out anyway. I think it won't be that bad to just teleport back to my house every now and then. 
if I need to. Uh, I just don't know how crowded it's going to be because it was like it was like three in the morning when I did it. Uh, the last one I killed the one and there wasn't anyone there, but it's uh, now three thirty in the afternoon. So I think it might be uh, quite a bit more crowded this time around. So Brutal Blacks are actually going pretty well. Uh, I did have to go and get anti-fire though. It's just I could realistically, even with like half an inventory of food, maybe push like three kills a trip. And I just like it's it's like that versus if you have anti-fire, it's literally you just need prayer potions because then you can you're totally protected if you have protect from magic on and you're not in melee range. So I think after I have my anti-fire runs out now, I'm just going to finish this off with normal black dragons. But I do think I'll commit to having a stack of anti-fires uh, for, you know, for a little while, because I think between this and then one, if I ever get the um, the lance, I'd like to start doing like metal dragon tasks, too. And maybe some Vorkath for like pet hunting or Slayer or something like that. So I think there there are various uses for anti-fire uh, throughout the game. It's just something that, you know, before now I haven't, you know, heck, half the potions I have I, I hardly ever touch. Um, but I just I definitely don't think anti-fires are ever super worth it once you get past, you know, like Dragon Slayer 2 and all that stuff. But uh, Brutal Blacks are, they're, they're pretty chill and they're great money. Like every single drop you get is like an alkable and they're still pretty good XP an hour just because they have so much uh, HP that you get a lot of uh, Slayer XP from them. It's just uh, don't have the means to upkeep them right now. Heck, I freaking went, in order for me to get a Lanta Dime for the, the one I needed for this anti-fire, I went to like the Isle of Souls like treasure chest, which isn't even that great. And then I was there for like 20 minutes, probably, no, probably like 10, 15 minutes and then getting one land to dime. And then it was it was a process. I never felt more like an Iron Man. Well, I just did a gauntlet run to get some crystal shards to make this crystal key, forgetting that I had a whole stack of crystal shards in my inventory already. So I feel a little dumb, but I got, you know, rune full helm. So it was a good alk. All right, so that nothing great from the uh, Crystal Key, but then we also got a hard glue from Brutal Blacks for also nothing great. That was a pretty weak hard glue, not gonna lie. Although still, pr pretty good money. I think from like the blue, to, the, the, we got what almost 400k worth of value from Brutal Blacks. Probably at least like 200k in alk value. Not bad at all. Finished up a Heckhound's task, and I was just AFKing because I was editing while I was doing that. But we did manage to get one hard casket for, um, okay, Alks. Oh, looks like I get to mix it up a bit this episode and do some Thermi. Um, I'm trying to remember if what my collection log is looking like for Thermi. I think I still need the pet, pet, and the smoke battle staff. Not that I actually have a use for the smoke battle staff right now, um, but the pet would be cool. Oh, good morning, gamers. He says it 1.30 in the afternoon. Um, I just finished making my coffee, and I saw there was an update today. I saw it on Reddit when I was getting up, you know, on my phone, uh, that there was some new hairdresser stuff. And then also I read up a bit about the Desert Treasure 2 uh, rare beta, because that was, I don't know if I should say contentious, but that was a, a hot topic in the community for sure. Uh, as far as I never tested it myself, I didn't care too much, and I honestly think that even if it's it is kind of overpowered, which it seemed like at least a couple of them were crazy overpowered. I I always have faith that Jagex will either not put those in there or delay them until we, they can tweak them and stuff. They they've been doing they, they, the last like year and a half, two years has been great for uh, what Jagex has been doing, um, but the main thing this update that we're gonna go check out in a second is that the hairdresser. Uh, there's like they like forever ago in a, a game jam thing they said like, oh there's a bunch of new hairstyles and stuff that you might get um which they apparently have added in now there's a whole new building in Varrock that we're going to check out but real quick i did just notice i don't remember if i mentioned this or not or if i ended up cutting that the, 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 the poll 79 full discussion but anyway it was pulled and passed that looting bags are going to be able to be purchasable with slayer points and in the little kind of like end of notes uh at the uh the end of the patch notes it said that they should be purchasable it did say if you are don't already have one so maybe because i have one in my inventory right now i can't get one but let's see okay so i i would think it should be here maybe just because i have one i can't do it yet i'll i'll, I'll lose my looting bag at some point before i post this video and then we can check again but anyway on to varrock let's go check out this uh, makeover place I think it's just supposed to be up over here by the museum. Yes, look at this whole thing. 
Full big little... I'm just, I know it's not a massive update, but I'm surprised there's uh, nobody here. Uh, but hey, um, the, the biggest thing I'm looking forward to is that I think of all the hairstyles, I don't think there's going to be any that are associated with like, you know, your, if you're like a male or female player model, uh, which is great because uh, as a guy with uh, long hair myself, I definitely am often disappointed in games with the... Uh, the length and style I can make my character's hair uh, so I'm looking forward to having some new ones here but yeah there's oh my god there's like 10 million now with all the things here okay I'm tempted okay the pomodoro does not look as good as it does on there not that they look good in the general but as a space dandy fan I like stuff like that all right let me let me you know look at this for a while and see which ones I end up liking all right, so I'm, I, there's a couple good ones here. Let's see. I think the first one was Messy Bun. I like a little bit. Um, it's somewhat boring for most of it when you can't, you know, see the bun, which I guess that's when you wear your hair in a bun anyway. That's what it's like. So I don't think I'm going to do that one. So if it's not that, then I'm thinking Long Quiff is probably... I, I like that. That's kind of close to how I wear my hair, although I, this isn't like a self-insert character, really, so that's not important. Um, I also, I really like the high ponytail. I don't wear my hair like that, but gosh darn, I would if my hair was that nice. Um, I think I'm going to go with that one. I don't know. I kind of want to change my hair from green, but I do like the uh, like the Zoro aesthetic I have. Um, oh, I, you mean, <laughs> it changes your eyes too, so I do look like a girl, but hey, that's <laughs> that's okay with me. But yeah, we got a great freaking ponytail now, and uh, you're never going to see it because we're always going to have helmets on. But it'll make my some of my thumbnails look a little nicer. Just want to correct myself from earlier. The reason we could not see the looting bags in the Slayer shop is because even though the block initially said they were added, they actually aren't done. Mod Ash uh, gave a correction on Twitter. He said that the, the work has been done. It still needs to be, you know, past testing or, or inspection or whatever the word was. But he said, he said he expects it'll be next week's update, which actually I think isn't going to happen because of the game jam. So maybe I guess that means next update will be two weeks from now. So you have to wait a little bit longer, but it should be coming. Also, I still have kind of like a eh, ping on even like the, the like the, the least ping I can find is like in the 70s for my world. But uh, it's Wednesday now, and I want to, you know, get through this still have 165 more of uh, Thermy, which I might just give up and go do regular Smoke Devils if it's going to be too bad, because I do really want to try and keep pushing towards 95, but I'll see what I can make happen. Checking in with kill number 700 at Thermy for just some Runeras. Hey, it's pretty decent money. Um, ping, even though my ping is still a little high, it's it's going good. It's not nearly as bad as far as like, you know, not dead clicks, but I had some very delayed clicks yesterday when I was trying it out. Uh, and it's been pretty, pretty smooth so far. So now we just have 150 more kills to hopefully just not get crashed. Although we are getting closer and closer to prime time. Thankfully, it is a weekday, so hopefully it shouldn't be that bad. But I've already seen like two people since I've uh, been back to Thermi that have like, you know, hopped in my room or been been running up there whenever I'm... I'm coming back too, so hopefully we can make it. Oh, I gotta grab this before I die. Get out of here. But we got a uh, dragon chain body, which I don't know if we've actually gotten one of these before from uh, Thermi, but we have gotten on the collection log at least from, from something or other. So it's, you know, not a new collection log, but it is some money. I wonder how much is the dragon chain for Alka value? Uh, 150k. Okay, so it's not as good as I thought, but still, it's it's a nice stack of cash. And this kill here is going to be my last one for this task. I'm only going to have 58 left after this, so I did, you know, a decent amount, over 100. Uh, but it's just, it's way too hard to find a spot in prime time where, well, not too hard to find one, but then, like, you're almost always, like, someone's going to come and take it over when you're, you know, traveling back and forth and whatnot. And it's just not worth it for how slow this makes this task, you know, Slayer XP-wise. But it is a good task for money. We've made almost a mil just in 100 kills. Um, a decent amount of, you know, supplies for different, you know, we've got some, some, some uh, mithril bars, a little bit of uh, molten glass, some magic seeds. we got two hard clues, which I'll open... I'll say for the end, just in case we get any more at normal smoke devils. But uh, I think I'm pretty sure you can check the clips and see me saying this the last time that I did uh, Thermi. But I think I want to try magic the next time just because I might be actually able to be able to do more than like one kill trips. You know, I can just freeze them and then, you know, I would only need to bring like 
I mean, not even prayer, really, just some emergency food in case I take a little bit of damage here and there. Uh, I think that could go pretty well, especially with the uh, the bonuses to freezing that you might get from the new Desert Treasure 2 rewards, which are going to come out sometime soon. Finally finished up that Smoke Devil's task. <laughs> Doing Thermi and then with stuff in real life, it took me probably like three or four days to get it done, but hey... I uh, did get some hard clues I promised to open number one. Hey, the rune H5 is new. And then two, nothing new, but lots of good alks from that. I think that's probably going to bring us to over a mil total gain from this task, which is not bad at all. Oh my gosh, I am so angry. I just missed 96 defense. We hardly have any more levels left. It's so rare I get a level these days, and I, I missed it. Not that it's that important to actually catch it in the moment, but... I'm just annoyed. Anyway, 96 defense, we are closing in on our last combat, or a melee at least, and uh, I'm back at Gargoyles right now, just uh, getting some nice Slayer XP and some money. As I mentioned last time I was here, Guthans is fan-freaking-tastic for, uh, for Gargoyles. You see, I've already killed well, over 12, like, what, 12, 13 of them, and I'm just now using Guthans for the first time with no food brought, so it's it's very, very good here. Ooh, greater demons. One, I'm happy because it means I can finally get rid of these dark totems and do Skatizo. Um, I also really, really want to do Zami, but I think I'm going to store this one after I do my Skatizo kills and save that for later just because I'm really just trying to power through and get uh, 95 Slayer right now. But I'm very excited about this. I've been wanting to go to Zami for a while. Oh, it's so much nicer when you're on a Slayer task and you have an arc light to do Skatizo. Uh, I've struggled the last couple times when I try and, like, uh, you know, bodge it, but that was very, 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 very brain dead. And that's also 30 KC total at Skatiza now. We're getting up there. Well, I, I went and jinxed myself on Skatizo because the next kill after that did not go good. Granted, I didn't hit any of my Warhammer specs, so that, you know, leads to that, and then I just whiffed hard and then just got really really unlucky with magic hits and stuff but we at least got a hard casket from our first one which is oh my god armadillo plate and armadillo kite shield in the same thing that's pretty cool um none of those were new for collection log but they might be new for the poh i'll put a big smiley face on the screen if they were oh my gosh do you guys see it yet do you see it? You're gonna see it in a second. New collection log items. Stale baguette. Ooh, oh, look at that. You used to only be able to get it, I think, from the mystery event and the sandwich lady. Now that I think there's like a one in 64 chance that you could get it whenever you get a chance for a normal baguette, which you don't always get from the sandwich lady. So that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, I think that's going to be the last thing we need in our uh, cost or the fancy dress box, but let me double check that. Okay, so we do need the shade robe still, but I think I can just go. That's not random. That's not. I don't know why they're in here because that's the only one that's not from a random event. I think those are from. Uh, you just get them from killing shades. Although I could believe that maybe they're from like old legacy code of like maybe they're from. Uh, like RS1 or RS2 days where it was like, oh, there were, when they used to, because there used to be old random events that were way different than the ones they are now. And maybe you could get those from that, but I don't, I don't recall that myself. Well, I managed to get a Black Demon's task, so we get to get 95 Slayer from Skatizo, and I redeemed myself and managed to get another Skatizo kill. So pretty, uh, you know, pretty big spectacle. If I had to say so myself, unfortunately, we only got one Ancient Shard. Not that it matters. Arclight is pretty close to fully charged. It just would have been nice to top it off. Um, but yeah, that is 95 Slayer there. We unfortunately didn't get to see it because we didn't have enough time. But the big unlock from that is we can now kill Hydras, which of course means that uh, the Alchemical Hydra, the boss, is, you know, unlockable or is doable for us now. Um, I don't remember whether it's, um, only Konar, only Konar is the one who can assign Hydras at all, or if she's the only, I know she's the only one that can do alchemical Hydra. It might just be Hydras in general. She's the only one. So from here on out in the future, when we're doing Slayer, we're probably just going to use Konar as our Slayer master. And that's the end of the world. There can be some annoying tasks. I already skipped a fair amount of annoying tasks. I have, you know, almost 1600 points bulked up, so it won't be the end of the world. But uh, that is going to be our next goal for, you know, 
I can't say I'm going to commit to just skipping for tasks until I can get Hydra, but every time we get a Hydra task, we're going to start doing Hydra just to, um, you know, get that going. I will say, I don't think we'll take much damage once I get it learned, but I would probably prefer to get to 99 defense before we did Hydra. Um, again, we'll see if that's, you know, I'm not going to not do it if I think I'm ready, but I think that would be nice. Um, I am going to take a break from Slayer for right now. Uh, I've just, uh, this video is super, super late. If you made it this far, it's probably a longer one too. Thank you as always. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Um, this, I, I just had a lot going on in my life, you know, couldn't really get a video out as soon as I wanted to. And I kind of been, it feels weird, weird to say I've been burnt on like Slayer, but it's been boring to know that I'm just getting on to, you know, go AFK and, you know, hide somewhere, uh, while I'm killing a bunch of the same monsters over and over again. So I think next time we're actually going to do a couple, it's going to be like a skilling variety episode and also some spring cleaning because my looting bag is in desperate need of some, uh, some cleaning right now. So we'll get that taken care of, uh, do a little bit of skilling. I have a couple odd, you know, a couple three, four skills here and there that I'd like to get up a couple more levels just, you know, for some certain, certain things. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this Slayer focused episode. We should have some more ones coming up soon, but uh, we are now, I think, officially in like the end game in quotes for Slayer, uh, where just Hydra's be all our last boss. And after that, I think we're Technically, we're done. I'm only doing Thermi for pets and stuff, and I guess maybe I'll go back to Serb for pets sometimes. But other than that, it's going to be just, you know, it's time to start realizing what the good Slayer tasks are. I really want to do a Barraging task this episode, but I never got one. So, you know, hey, we'll look forward to that in the future. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to where uh, where the count is going. Uh, going to do some skilling, even though that's going to be boring for videos. I will, I'm looking forward to it because I just really want to get some of these, these skills up. And... Uh, Hopefully, you uh, will join me on the next one. Actually, I have a hard clue right here. Uh, oh, I have to take walk forever to get to that one. Hey, I'm, I'm going to freaking, I'm going to do clickbait. I'm going to drag you on. You got to watch the next video to see if I even get this hard clue. That's the kind of person I am. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so awful. Oh, I'm just kidding. I couldn't do that to you guys. Besides, I mean, getting a third HP will be a great way to end this video.